So we have an opinionated entourage. Yes. Tell me something new. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're gonna be team bride. No, totally, 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 totally. Okay. Everybody thinks she's gonna be matronly looking. I want her to look sex pot and sparkles everywhere. Sex pot and sparkles everywhere. That doesn't sound like what she just said. She said classy and no sparkles. I want that whole hourglass look, you know, and have her boobs hanging out and have her butt, like, you know, that, that would be my dream. The Jane Lowe look. Yeah, that would be good. What are your biggest concerns? Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just afraid that she's gonna try and steer Courtney away from what she wants. Make a laugh. I'm scared. Oh gosh, here she comes. I'm, I'm scared, what if I hate it? <gasps> I'm scared. You won't hate it. Is, is oh, it absolutely no. gorgeous? What if I hate it? I'm scared. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, one. Oh, my God. Oh, Courtney. How do you feel? It's pretty. It is gorgeous. But I wanted to show my physique off or my figure. My figure. Can I please, like, talk? Mom, stop. They're talking to her. Wait till they come in. OK. Got that? <sighs> um, Courtney, you look like you have a wad of Toilet paper stuck on your ass. Uh, what? what? A wad of toilet paper. It looks like it looks it's like you had a bad tummy ache and you kept trying to wipe and it oh, all got stuck there. If you removed that poof ball in the back, yeah. it is a gorgeous dress. I know, but then even if they do that, then that's all I'm gonna think about is that toilet paper used to be there. I mean, okay. your figure can you really, look really good in that. Amazing. Yeah, that and you know, she got a breast, yeah. um, she got her boobs taken off because she felt like they were too big so to make her yes. body look bigger. Did you know that? Well, now we do. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that with us, yeah, Mom. sorry. Good Lord, you don't have to go on TV and tell everybody that I had a breast reduction. If my sign said, hell no, it would be, oh my job, oh my God, hell no. Okay, next. Okay. <laughs> Like she is about to cry over it because you're over there channeling. Grandma says no. My grandmother, I call her Big Ma, came through one of my bridesmaids. Um, I have two here who are also mediums. So she's saying no to black in general. Not open for discussion. Big Ma is saying in the nicest form that she's pretty much going to kick my ass if I get this black wedding dress. But it's really, really pretty. She's glowing in it. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Do you feel like you could consider a dress that grandma wouldn't approve you of? You want in a dress, though, girl. <sighs> it's hard because I, I'm always trying to please, you know, my ancestors, because they're my guides. But damn it now, listen. I'm gonna need you to go back across the veil and ask Big Ma who's paying for the dress, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Probably too much. And it's your wedding, huh? Come on in, wedding. You have a table for him? I got a whole table set up for her. <laughs> you tell her that. She got a table, a portrait, arguing with the dead. This is not tradition. You should be in white. <sighs> my grandmother's opinion today means everything. I am walking in my truth. I am walking in the gift that she left behind. And of course, I want her to be proud. So I'm going to bend a little bit. Sarah's bride, Nancy, is having fun with her friends, but trouble finding a dress. Oh, now it's I like it. And now she's even got some competition across the hall, a guy in a gown. My dress is what I would want my best friend to be wearing. I'm too fat for this dress. No, bridal. Bridal runs very small. Let's not get insulted by this. Let's hope that the boys like it. I think they'll like it, too. We are coming out. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's gorgeous. But he definitely didn't look better than me, so he got to stay. You are, you're gorgeous. Yes. OK, what a vision. <laughs> I felt a little guilty, maybe had taken some of the uh, the uh, focus away from her for a second. He was really upset that he didn't get to be a bridesmaid in a bridesmaid dress going down the aisle, so this makes up for it. It does. Wait, do you mind if I just... <laughs> My sister's opinion means the most to me because I really want her to accept my style. How do you feel? Uh, I like the bling. Okay. I like the see-through part. I'm not sure if I like this part. The tool? Really? 
It's too Las Vegas showgirl. Uh huh. Well, I mean, it's that's her opinion. You're missing ruffles and feathers and dramatic. It's absolutely not what I pictured her in at all. That's got some drama. We've it's got, got drama, some drama, ladies. Lots of drama. Okay. How do we feel? I love it, but I'm not getting the reaction that I want. Okay, go ahead. Okay. All right, ladies. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. What? This is a generous two. Yeah. A generous two. I like this. I got a reaction, but not the reaction I think I wanted. <laughs> it really? looks like you're lost in a big pile of Kleenex. <laughs> oh my God. Claudia, come on. If she wears this down the aisle, it's gonna make me want to sneeze. I wanted the wow factor with you guys. You didn't even have like oh, any reaction. I'm shocked, reaction. I'm shocked. You got the wow shock, but. I'm feeling disappointed uh, because I did like the drama, but I want my sister to really love it. As Sarah begins searching for a sparkly gown with a princess poof, she gets some unsolicited advice from mom. If you could, in the skirt, have like bunches in it, or maybe a flower with little diamonds in it. Then we're going over 10. Closer to 10,000, no more than that. See, this is what I have. It, not like this in the front. It, like, it, get all the skirt to have the same pickups on it. Bunch in here, bunch in here, something like that. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking about, but it's if, if we have it. Something like this? That could be, but I don't think so. And not too much cleavage. We are yes, uh, we said very more old fashioned. I feel like I just got ambushed. Nora's confident as she comes out in dress number two. I love it. I felt really pretty in it. Nora, you look like a cake topper. <laughs> they were telling her she's a cake topper and the skirt part. I didn't like the skirt. Yeah, it's like so much. I don't know what to look at. I want something classy and elegant and like... This is classy. It's like some material threw up all over the bottom. I don't like the bottom at all. I think it's tacky. <sighs> I really, really, really did like this one. Nora's really discouraged and kind of disappointed with how her family reacted to this dress. I would have probably got that dress if, I, if everybody didn't give me 101 insults about it. I think it kind of, you know, broke her heart a little bit. This shape is perfect. This is exactly what I want. Okay. Wow. But the avant-garde ball gown needs to get the thumbs up from the Greek chorus out on the salon. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Okay, can I explain myself? Yes. Please, <laughs> hurry, <laughs> fast. I love the front. I love the shape. I love the waist. I love the poof. The front of the dress, beautiful. Okay. I, don't, I don't like the back. The back is not what I like about the dress. It's like a mullet. Like it's, it's classy in the front, but a party in the back. I told her, be as honest as you possibly can. Boy, she delivered. Do you guys want to hear the price? How much? 15000 For roses on your butt? That shut it down right away. There was, I wanted to get out of that dress as soon as possible. The rose dress doesn't make the cut, so it's quickly on to a third ball gown. All right, they have to love this one. If they don't love this one, then I don't care what they think. <laughs> I love this one. I'm so nervous for I you. Know, I'm nervous for me too. You like this one a lot, I can tell. I can tell too. I like everything about this dress. I love the back. The back is my favorite. I love what it does for my shape. It's just gorgeous. The bride's in love, but the dress has to win over her entourage. I mean, like, in my head, I'm like, oh, no. She loves this one. I hate this one. <laughs> no, the bottom, to me, it kind of looks a little on the cheapy side. Why? Tell me why. I'm a little frustrated at this point because the family's telling me what they like. So how do I figure out what she likes and what they like and get everybody kind of on the same page? I don't know if I like the way it just cuts ends. To me, it makes it feel a little dated. If you're not gonna be honest with your family, who are you gonna be honest with? I thought that was the dress I was gonna walk out in. She loved that dress. She's still in it. She didn't want to get out of it. I don't like it, Mommy. 
I didn't really like the first dress because it was like too like plain and I didn't really like it. I don't really like the top of it. You don't like here? No, I, th I think you would do better strapless. Do you think so? Yeah. Okay. Do you think it's cutting me like bad here or? Yeah, I think it takes away from the dress. I like it, but I'm not in love with it. Okay. Off we go. All right, we'll be back. On to the next. Let's try another Moving one. forward. <laughs> For her second dress, Jenny continues with the elegant lace theme, this time without straps. I, I really like this a lot. This might absolutely be it. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Oh, see, I really like this. I do really, really like the strapless. I was kind of shocked that I really do like it so much. <laughs> All right. I think it fits you beautifully. I think it's fabulous, too. Okay, I love the strapless. It's fabulous. Do you like it, Liv, or not? It looks okay. pretty. It looks pretty? OK. I think it's pretty, but I don't think it's uh, good enough to be um, uh, fabulous. Oh. oh, she totally planned that. So when I look over and see Madeline holding up the blah sign for this dress, I'm thinking, OK, this is not going to work, because they're really an important part of this appointment. Oh, Maddie, this is her favorite so far. I like it, but I don't like it a lot. I did feel like there was a little bit of a conflict there, because the mom in me doesn't want to disappoint her. Okay. I know, I kind of want everybody to be like, this is it. Man, Madeline, she's so hard. <laughs> she's like harder than most people on the couch. All right, here we go. Counting on you guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I love the first dress, but my friends are definitely going to want to see me in as many as possible dresses that I can get on my body. Ooh. Try on just something completely different. Fun and flirty. Something very unique. Nothing something plain unique. and definitely <laughs> unique. <laughs> Nothing cathedral or traditional whatsoever. Okay. It has to be sexy, too. Everyone wanted to see her in something different something more elaborate. The first dress is a hit with Carly and Mom, but the others convinced the bride to keep looking. It's a good starting point. It's definitely a good starting point. It's the middle of Carly's appointment, and all of her guests that she has brought with her have disappeared. They're off in the salon pulling dresses. This is what I want my brother to see when his wife is walking down the aisle. Okay, the invoice is wanted. <laughs> they know you don't like satin. It is a mermaid show. No. We have to tell them to stop. I'm feeling overwhelmed, and all these dresses are running together. They just kept wanting to see more and more dresses. It was just becoming a circus. The bride needs to stay focused. This is me and you. So whatever you want, we do. Whatever goes on out there is out there. OK. But Carly doesn't want to cause a scene, so she still puts on her in-law's pick. Carly was trying on dresses that had nothing to do with the description of dresses that she had given me. Here she is in a corset, full satin, heavy dress. Looks beautiful on her, but it wasn't what she was looking for. I'm sacrificing a little bit of comfort for this dress. Oh, oh look at her. Oh, she loves it. Yes. Yeah, it's satin. That's, I yeah. thought she didn't like satin. Well, but we insisted. I felt like if I was wearing that dress, I would have said yes right away. It is my favorite, too. Yeah. The dress is a hit with the party, but Carly's confused. Carly, do you like this better than the first one? I'm not a satin person. <laughs> the satin dress was not what I had been looking for at all. It's very uncomfortable. It was extremely heavy, but showed my figure a lot more. Carly faces a choice between the drama of this dress and the comfort of the first gown she tried. I love the first dress. It's easy to move in, and you'd have fun in it. I was getting swayed by this other dress. It was beautiful. It had beautiful flowers. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I don't even remember what I came in here for. 